<laughs> I am 21 30 seconds Creek and my father was full blood my mother was five eighths and they were both born right down one on the north side of the North Canadian River one on the south side I am from the Tukabachi tribal town and Raccoon Clan. I was really excited to get to learn the shell carving because I had seen his work before. Dan Townsend is the best. But uh, I learned a lot of the background. I learned a lot about shells. I learned a lot about the techniques. And you know, there's certain little things you have to do and certain ways to hold your tool and everything else. And it was just, you know, just wonderful every day. And we stayed late. <laughs> every day to work more and more but even just getting to work with the shell from the beginning and cut it and trim it uh, polish it uh, doing the shell carving finishing them off everything and one of the shells i won a second place on this year at the five civilized tribes under the oaks was a conch shell dipper medicine dipper yeah. it's like the they used in the old days to take their medicine, the black drink, at the green corn dance. And that has a design on there. It has two men, and the title is Choosing Sides. And I got the idea from an old shell. I've taken, I went to the basket class, the uh, pottery class, the creek pottery class, and the shell carving class. And it was just wonderful, just being able to do these things and learn more about the materials and Art Under the Oaks will be going on all through April. I'll be at Tahlequah demonstrating finger weaving at the symposium on Saturday, I mean Friday, from like 11 to 1. And then I'll be at the Red Fork Film Festival demonstrating finger weaving and showing my art at uh, the TCC West Campus in October.